Here I'll show you how to view data validation errors that occur after you have already input the data, which means that data validation wasn't able to run on those values. So I'll show you a very quick example with the drop down menu here. And we're going to put it over here. Let's put in some sample text first. ASDF, OK. Now let's select the cell. And I just hit the keyboard shortcut Alt DL to go to data validation. Let's create a very simple list. OK. Select in the source and select these values over here. OK. Very simple, easy peasy. Bam. Now, ASDF is not in this list but it's still in the cell because it was input before data validation. Well, go to the data tab, this little dude over here for data validation, click the drop down arrow and circle invalid data. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. You can do this for an entire worksheet as well. And so if I go here and remove the circle, clear data validation circles, it's gone. Select anywhere in the worksheet, run the same command, and it's going to select it. So no worries about that. When you go ahead and make a proper selection, the circle will not move, will not be removed. So just take note of that. Go here, clear the circles, or you can run it again, circle invalid data. So you can just run the same command again so you don't have to run clear and circle, clear and circle over and over. And this works as well, so let's say we go down here, select Kiwi, go to our source list, delete Kiwi. Well, we should have an error, but we can at least circle it to see which ones have errors now. So it's kind of an annoying thing to have to do, but data validation works after the fact and only if you do something with the cell that has it after it has been applied. But if you want to make sure that now there are no errors with any of your data validation cells, just go to data, click the drop down error, arrow, <laughs> and circle invalid data.